bone cancer is one of the most challenging uh, cancers that uh, we encounter during our practice so most of the bone cancers occur in the growing bones in children and adolescents and uh, not all bone cancer is the same many a times it is detected by an accident feeling of pain or an extra hardness or growth of the bone felt by sometimes the child's mother and brought to the doctor for further evaluation rarely a large growth of the bone which gives a bumpy appearance on the bone brings uh, the patient to the doctor so basically just like we have several parts of every organ there are several parts uh, to a bone so if you see the long bone okay for example the bone of our thigh which is otherwise called as the femur it has three components it has got the diaphysis or the middle of the bone it has got the epiphysis or the tip of the bone and then you have the bridging part of the epiphysis and the diaphysis called as the metaphysis metaphysis is the area where most of the growing bone tissue is located for example once a person achieves his or her maximum height in adolescence the metaphysis would be fused so there are no more growing cells in the metaphysis but in a child which is growing metaphysis is composed of several actively growing bone forming cells known as osteoid which help in the growth of the bone length as well as breadth wise so that is the normal bone inside the bone in the hollow of the bone as you would like to call it is the bone marrow and bone marrow is usually located in the hollow bones which are the hip bones bones of the thigh the also called as the femur the bones of the uh, arm also called as the humerus and the bone marrow is also located in certain back bones also so like i told you that initially the child or the adolescent or even the adult uh, is brought to the doctor for a swelling of the bone a uh, abnormal pain in the bone a boring kind of regular increasing intensity pain and sometimes deformity of the bone also can bring the patient to the oncologist so how do we proceed when the patient comes to us with these varied presentations x ray of the bone is the first test that we usually ask for and believe it or not in the era of mri ct and pet even today x ray gives us a lot of information with respect to the diagnosis of the tumor and also strategies for management of the bone tumor after the x ray we want to know what kind of bone cancer it is it is important to tell you folks that even today most of the bone tumors are benign most of the bone deformities are also benign bone cancers or the malignancy of the cancer wherein the bone is destroyed and also the tumor cells spread to other parts of the body are a minority of bone tumors not all bone swellings or bone tumors are malignant so then we proceed to do a biopsy biopsy is nothing but you put a thick bored needle into the tumor core get the tissue there and study it under a microscope so most pathologists who are well oriented with cancer diagnosis can easily differentiate between whether this is a bone tumor which is benign or a bone tumor that is malignant however please note that not everybody can do a bone biopsy if it's actually a malignant bone tumor and the biopsy is not done in the right technique you may end up spreading the cancer outside the bone house that is why a highly qualified orthopedician a surgical oncologist are qualified to take the bone biopsy in a adequate and a optimal way so that the diagnosis is also established and there is no seeding of the uh, bone tumor outside the bone if the biopsy report turns out to be cancerous or malignant 
in that instant we then proceed to a staging evaluation so for bone tumors usually nowadays we do a whole body contrast enhanced ct scan or a pet ct scan uh, sometimes we also do a bone scan which is a nuclear medicine test with these tests we then establish whether the bone tumor that we diagnosed is located only to that particular bone or has it spread elsewhere if the imaging uh, test shows that the bone is localized to the site of the symptom then we proceed to think of a curative management and if it has spread then treatment uh, intention is only to control the disease and to palliate the symptoms so the most definitive modality for treatment and uh, you know the cure of bone tumors is surgery time and again i find that many children and adolescents who go with a bone tumor they tend to lose their limb basically an amputation is done after which the limb is removed and the patient uh, is given prosthesis so that uh, then the patient can perform whatever activities that it is possible to do with limb prosthesis but through this video i also want to enlighten all of you that many a times we can do what are called as limb salvage surgeries by which the same limb can be salvaged by these advanced surgical techniques called as limb salvage surgeries limb salvage surgery basically utilizes special uh, uh, prosthesis or metallic prosthesis which can be inserted end to end to the either side of the resected bone and this helps the individual perform as close to normal before the patient was diagnosed with bone tumor this is not done by everybody the reason is it requires great uh, skills and also requires you know down staging of the tumor by a chemotherapy by which a tumor which could start out to be around 8 or 9 cm can be shrunk to as less as 3 cm and then a uh, limb salvage surgery is made possible so remember that anybody has bone tumor it does not mean that the patient has to lose their limb limb salvage surgery is certainly possible in fact many of our patients who come to us with bone tumors we make sure that until otherwise if it's not possible we always try and insist on a limb salvage surgery protocol so that patients do not have to live a life uh, post bone tumor treatment being severely handicapped so i'll summarize with just two points is that one make sure that earliest treatment is started when bone tumor is diagnosed it could not be malignant but make sure the diagnosis is done and two make sure that treatment is taken from a center which has multidisciplinary oncology uh, management possible so that these advanced techniques such as limb salvage surgery can be made possible and in many cases uh, the limbs of the child or the adolescent can be preserved using this latest strategy